This episode's subscriber shout out goes out to Robbie21071. Thanks for the subscription, buddy. I hope you're enjoying the content. All right, guys, welcome back. This is Grassroots Season 4. This is, it would have been Episode 4, but essentially it's Episode 5, if that makes sense. Um, Something happened this last week, and I seem to have lost the footage of Episode 4 altogether, um, which was Leicester, Brighton, and Copenhagen. I don't know what happened. I've been trying to prep um, five or six videos for the channel, uh, just so that I've got some material backed up as I'm going back to work next week so I wanted to get um, plenty of content ready to just go so that I'm not rushed off my feet um, preparing content and for whatever reason I have no idea how it happened but the footage from episode 4 is gone so um, I will I'm going to title this episode 5 but this just explains why episode 4 is not going to show up in the list um, so if we just look back I did beat Leicester. I'm so bummed that it, I've lost this footage as well because it was a great episode. We drew two all with Leicester in the Carabao Cup um, and we won on penalties. It it went right to like the final kick, final kick of the of the game, and Leicester City hit the bar, meaning we won on penalties. So we're through in that one. Um, followed on into Brighton where we got a one 0 win in which I scored in the 87th minute, I think it was, and that was. Uh, Justin Cliver, who got that goal also after signing that new deal. Um, and then in the Copenhagen game, we drew 1-1. I was winning 1-0 up until like the 88th minute and then Copenhagen equalised. So that was a bit of a bummer for that match. Um, but yeah, so that, that episode's gone. There's nothing I can do about it, sadly. So we're just going to move straight on into episode 5. First game up is going to be against Chelsea. Um, but as you can see from the standings there, we've got 17 points from 7 games. We're doing really well. Um, third and only two points off the top of the league. So if we have a quick look at the table, we can see that along with uh, Man United, Man City, Liverpool and Chelsea, we are now the only five teams that have not lost yet this season. So interesting. We're in good company. And uh, with Chelsea coming next, that's a huge game. None of us have lost yet. So we'll see what happens in that one. It's a great day for football in this lovely stadium. Martin Tyler here along with Alan Smith. Warm welcome to you all. Premier League football we have for you. It's coming right up. What a game this should be, Alan. Yeah, thanks, Martin. Looking forward to it. I think we're going to have an end to task. I think we'll find that out in the first 10 minutes how these teams approach the task. Thank you. Enjoy the game. A lot of build-up. Finally, we're underway for the game itself. Well, this is how the home team shape up. So we think it's going to be 3-5-2, Alan, don't we? Yes, it looks that way. I mean, this formation went out of fashion for a number of years, particularly in England, but a few managers prefer him to bring it back now. Well, that stopped him in his tracks because he's given offside. There was plenty of space in behind to run into as well. Here's the Chelsea lineup. Well, we've gone with a 4-3-3 formation here for them. Is that the way you see it, Alan? Yeah, I mean, it can. The ball. Yeah, put them in front here. Shocking finish. His concentration, the goalkeeper, and because of that, kept hold of the ball. Yeah, he seems to fill the goal, this lad. He's quite an imposing keeper. Martinez. <laughs> there is no doubt that the home side today are the story of the season so far. Tremendous football, great results. Well, they could not have asked for a better start, could they? Who could have predicted this side being in a Champions League spot? But yes, there's an awfully long way to go, Martin. We all know that, and they certainly do too. The referee had a good look at that, decided it's just a throw after the tackle. A couple of exceptional talents go on. in a really good game. Oh. They might be focusing on. Well, two excellent attacking players. We are treated to seeing. I'm really enjoying good seasons, and I'm expecting oh, a bit more come of the same on. today. Now it's a free kick that the referee has decided to award. 
He's one I know Alan's keeping an eye on here. Well, you look at his league goal tally, and it's uh, there for all to see. Such a danger man, as he's sure to be today. Able to make the interception. Ooh. Look to find the corner, but only found the photographers behind the goal. Yeah, nowhere near hitting the target there. Mateo Kovacic. Kovacic. Pulisic. Difficult for the defender against the player who wants to take him on like this. Offside, Dan. Always been called offside here. Patiently building up. Oh, the lead is here for the Oh, taking. get in, Eddie. That's the breakthrough. One nil. It's been a very good start to this game, and they've got the goal that really their football has suggested would come. Did not think One that was going in. Missing chances would leave them regretting those misses, but now they've opened the scoring, and you would feel that they'll go on a win from here. Well, let's have a look at the build up. To that this just goal, crept Martin. inside the post. What a lovely finish. finish. The understanding between the players was second to none. Fantastic. And that has opened the scoring. 1 0 here. To come back at this side. Allen. Really trying to use the full width of the pitch here to make some progress. It's a bad decision here. Which player is he going to pass it to? And oh! Is the equaliser for Chelsea. What a good finish, too. 1-1. One, one. Always gets involved, this manager. Loves to hug his players after a goal. Great scenes. Yeah, those first-time finishes are always the best ones. Don't give a keeper a chance to really sort out his angles. It is... Uh, Level, both sides have scored here now. In the Watford game, there has been a goal. Alan McAnally can tell us about it. It's a goal for Manchester United. 41 minutes played, 1 0. Thanks, Alan. And the tackle there is successfully done. It's a very good interception. Must take the lead here. Oh, get up, Baba. There could be a follow up now. Mateo Kovacic. Alan. Now Rafinha. Taking on a couple of opponents now. Could whip it in from here. Alan! And that will clear the danger. Alan. Well, everything Oof. to play for in the second half. We've reached half time at 1 1. Bit of a 50-50 first half, that. Chelsea to start this second half, then. Pulisic. Allen. Kovacic. Patient play as they Good try tackle. to get the goal that will put them in front. Excellent movement to get the pass and stay on side. Has to score. Oh. Yeah, nothing wrong with the contact, the power, but. Good chance from Cliver. Putting some passes together here neatly, Chelsea. 
Well, Chelsea believe that in these closing moments they're good enough to get a win here. Oh, here comes Kovacic. Good save. It's going in. Oh. Offside. Offside. <laughs> if he'd have left it, it would have been 2 1. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank God. Oh, <laughs> we've been saved there. Martinez. Oh, he's through. He through. No cross, good block. Yes. That's it, it's over. That's a point over gained for sure. Sides, level that could have been 2 1 right at the end there. Thank God it was offside. Like this in these conditions. Yeah. Right then, moving on. Another Premier League game against Everton. Have a quick look at the league table to see where they're sitting currently. We're still fourth. And we've got a game in hand. 18, 19, 20, 21. We go back to third if we win the game in hand. Which is probably this game against Everton. Everton are currently seventh. So close. If they beat us, they go ahead. So... Let's see. We're at Goodison Park today for our action historic stadium in the city of Liverpool. Martin Tyler here along with Alan Smith. Premier League football for you very shortly. This should be a special game, Alan. Yeah, thanks, Martin. Well, we've got a couple of teams here that their strengths are attacking, Thank no you. doubt about it. So I'm sure they'll be going at each other very quickly. Now Davis, got the Everton lineup for you. Bernat plays with Almami Toure in defence. Andrea Zivkovic starts with Alex Iwobi on the flanks. And they're going to go with one striker up front. And this is how the opposition will line up. So we think it's going to be 3-5-2, Alan, don't we? Yes, it looks that way. I mean, this is particularly in England, but a few managers prefer to bring it back now. Couldn't keep it, Everton. It really is shaping up to be a fantastic... Go on, Justin. In on goal. There's no flag. Oh, lovely finish. He's back indeed. Since Scott signing that new contract, he's been playing much better. Well, I wonder whether the goalkeeper will blame himself for this, but it looked a good finish, even though he did get a touch. Yeah, he's getting a few stares off his defenders. They thought he should have done better. So the first goal, it's 1-0. Over ref, come on. Well there. So easy in possession. Bit of a desperate lunge, that. And he's going to get put for it. Stevanti Rodney again. He's a shocking player for tackling. Well, that episode is going to lead to a yellow card from the referee. Well, look at the ref. He reached for his pocket straight away. The amount of no times he gets booked is ridiculous. That potentially might have been a penalty well, as well. The manager, he feels, I would guess, that his team are losing their concentration. Certainly losing the discipline. Has a go here. He knows he should have come much closer than that. Well, I don't know what to say. It was a, a shocker, shocking effort. Made sure the pass wasn't completed. He could take them on here. Got past his marker. It's a shot. And the keeper doing his job. Oh, That's well, well wide. Sure is. Go, go, go. Out to a wide man. Go on, Courtney. Room. Space to cross the ball now. There's a cut back on. Brilliant defending. Can he finish? Yes, Eddie. Score. Two nil. Lead now by two. And they've worked very hard for this. It should get them across the line at the end of the match. We'll see. 
Oh, what a time to get a goal just before half time. Their manager's team talks just changed a bit there. Restarting at 2 0. Half time now, and 2 0 is the score at the break. Everton fans not happy about that. They looked in, but he's diffused the danger. Go on, lad, all the way. And find some space here on the flanks. Chance to get the ball in the box. A good run towards the near post. What the hell was that? Reaching for it a little bit with the header. <laughs> and that's the expected result. Back to the training ground, I think. Don't know how we got that header away. Look at that. Oh, what a golden opportunity. That was a really good ball in from that wide. That's better than a volley. Just didn't time his header. Almami Toure. That's what they've been looking for. The ball in behind. Can oh, that was Bob. Just tried to slip it into the corner, but no. Well, he did well to get himself in that position, lose his marker. Good movement, but uh, wow, the finishing touch. Not good at all. Miles away. Bernard. Now Bernat. Bernard. <laughs> Substitute for Everton. Oh, he has blown and he's given the free kick. It's quite a bad tackle, lot to be fair. The talking no booking. The referee, the card stayed in the it's pocket. lucky there. Yeah, you don't always see that so often. The ref will produce a yellow early on and quite often leads to a red. Well, that's risky going in like that. Well, he saw the ball and he <laughs> thought he could win it. I mean, it always looks worse in slow motion, doesn't it? But he was just a fraction off there. Well, the way he's uh, teed the ball up here, Martin, it looks like he's going to have a crack. Real promise about that build-up until that challenge. Saw the pass and dealt with it. The and the players indicated there will be a another two minutes, two minutes added on by the referee. Intercepted well. That's it. Another solid here. three points. We're doing well at this Premier League lark. Right, on to the final match in this episode against Wolfsburg, who are top of the group at the minute. We're second after that last minute equaliser from Copenhagen in the last game. Um, we're doing well otherwise. I think we're all right as long as we don't lose this game. Good evening on what is, I regret to have to report, a pretty unpleasant night. The rain has been lashing down here. I'm Derek Ray, I'm joined for commentary by former Arsenal fullback Lee Dixon. And we've got Europa League group stage action coming up for you. So many storylines, Lee. Yeah, it's important you're consistent throughout these group stages. You can't afford any slip-ups, no drop points. As before you know it, you're out the running. Anticipating a really good game today, Derek. Hopefully we're not disappointed. Yeah, important for us to get a good result today. If we lose this one, it could be difficult to uh, to pull it back and get through this group. Thank you. Enjoy the game. And this Europa League group stage confrontation commences. The initial 11 today for the hosts. Wing backs are important in this setup. Did you enjoy your experience of playing at wing back, Lee? Not at all under Bruce Rock. It's a very, very demanding role, as we can see. The full backs are exposed both offensively and defensively. Lots of support inside them, but going forward, they need to try. That's a pen. Oh, he's given oh it. damn it. And an opportunity now for them Tried to get a good slide back. off. Did not work. It had to be a penalty and a booking part of the story as well.
and the penalty is converted. <sighs> One nil down. Really questioned him. Well, as we see, this is probably the best angle. He picked his spot. He didn't change his mind, and the keeper's got certainly not the best way to start. Teammates. It might be. Oh, what was that? Keep it in. Well, he has clear options in the middle. What was going to be the goalkeeper's ball? I believe there's been a goal in one of the other matches. Alan McAnally. It's a goal for the visitors. 13 minutes played. 1 0. Thanks very much, as always, Alan. So, as we keep a weather eye on the table in this group, it's still extremely tight. Everything to play for, Lee. Well, yeah, I mean, that's what we love about the Europa League. It is so competitive. All teams still have that carrot of knockout football in front of them. Maybe we'll get some pointers as who will take that after tonight. On the ball, Schlager. Ball lost. Go on, Eddie. That's, oh, he's put it wide. He take advantage of that opportunity from close range. I thought that was a dead cert 1 1. He's gone for power and fluffed his lines. Oh. Important interception. For now, look at It's a perfect challenge. And space for the cross. Who's that to? Well, that cross was more than acceptable, but they couldn't fire at home. Maximilian Arnold has it. Thunders clear. Surely, Mats Hummels with that important block. Throw ins given. Great tackle. Well, they did have the ball, but not anymore. He's got the right idea with that pass. Go on. Oh, still possibilities. But he took care of it defensively. Derek, I still can't believe that didn't go in. What a save. And Kessia. And the goalkeeper, as you would expect, once again doing his job. Yeah, that's it. His job. Get behind the ball and save it. Well, Derek, the game's pretty simple. Keep the ball out of one end and put it in the other. The creativity to do that... Bad tackle again. Come on, lads. Bad challenge. And now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next. And following that tackle, he's got to go into the book. Yeah, he's mistimed more than anything there. Just mistimed his tackle. Well, he was being pursued furiously. The effort, though, nothing to write home about, really. No, I think you give the credit to the defender there. Just put him off balance. Ronaldo Cabrais. Santi Mina. Genuinely thought they might cash in on that occasion, but haven't been able to do so. Could be a chance to break here. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. And Kessia. Aye, come on. Magnificent challenge to win it back. What was going to be the goalkeeper's ball? 
So, half time here and burning indignation, I think it's fair to say, amongst the home fans. They're not happy campers, Lee. No, and they're letting the referee know about that. But the players, you know, they can't get wrapped up in all of that emotion. They've got to get into the dressing room, regroup, have a cup of tea, have a drink, do what you need to do at half time. Forget about that, it's been given. Come out second half. Let's see how they bounce back from that poor decision. And this Europa League group stage confrontation commences. Right. Two midfielders on yellow cards. I'm going to chance it. They're better than anything I've got on the bench, so I need to keep them on. And so the second half is underway in this Europa League group stage confrontation. Plenty of running room in the wide position. Not all that convincing defensively. Come on now. And Kessia. I must say, this looks promising. Well, they continue their push for the... Well, they get themselves left oh. here. Not the easiest of situations Nearly. for the keeper. Well, he's given a corner, they referee. And firing it into the area. Get on it, Dosu. That was clever. Poor pass under no real pressure. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, Derek, you're right. He has played well and goals win games. He's been a joy to watch. And Can he take the chance? Substitution time it is. Offside, obviously. I'm not bringing Cliver off. Don't know why it keeps suggesting Cliver. Not even sure what happened then. Must have been offside, I suppose. A lot of live football to come right here on EA TV. And I very much hope you can join us for this game. Yeah, game after game. The season is relentless, but players just love to play. Give oh, them a game shoot. any day of the week. That should be a belter. End product or not. Crossed into the penalty area. Well, the clearance half-hearted. Well, just a quick reminder, more live football coming your way here on EA TV. I think you might enjoy this game. Yeah, I'm predicting a cracker there. Both teams will... Surely Get in! What a no goal! shortage of excitement. Level again. No wonder they're excited. Well, I just love to look at perfect technique, and you won't get any better than this. It's just a dream strike. Brilliant, brilliant effort. Well, let's go back to the goal that was scored. Lovely finish. Needed that. Well, the right, let's go into a high press and see if we can go for a winner now. And Ketia has it. Well, body in the way. And just the one minute left here. The referee's verdict is three additional minutes. And they're on the front foot, looking for a winner near the end of this game. He cuts it back. Oh, it was right there. He's delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. That's it. So this one, one stage confrontation is over. And in the end, the sides couldn't be separated. They've shared the points. There's a oh, floaty ball again. Score, Derek, a draw tonight. You want a game to go on forever. That was the case tonight. 90 minutes was too short. Oh. That'll do it for this episode then. Nine games down in the league. We're now four points behind City at the top of the league. We've got Man United up next to a second place at the moment. Um, ourselves and Man United still haven't lost. I'm assuming City still haven't either. Yep, so ourselves, City, United, Liverpool have not lost. Chelsea haven't lost either still. So still, still playing well. Um, 
obviously a long way to go in this season and a lot of good teams to play, so it's definitely not going to be an easy year. Um, coming up in the next episode will be Man United, followed by Bournemouth in the Carabao Cup round of 16. And then closing out the episode with Cardiff away. At least we don't have far to travel, it's just down the road. Um, so that'll be episode 6, essentially. Alright, that'll do it for this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.